So what is the community of property? How do you deal with it and what does it even mean? We'll, we'll talk about it right now. So the community of property really has everything to do with order. When you think community, think order. And think order doesn't matter when it comes to a certain operations in, in, in math, right? So when it comes to addition and multiplication, it doesn't matter what, what order you add the numbers in. It doesn't matter what, what order you multiply them in. You're going to get the same result. Now, this is not true when it comes to subtraction. It's not true when it comes to division. But let's take a look at this. So in addition, if I do A plus B, that's going to be the same thing as B plus A. It doesn't matter what two numbers you have you're gonna get the same result. Same thing is true with multiplication. The order doesn't matter when you do it. So let's take a look at that, a couple of examples real quick. So we have addition, let's say I have eight plus seven. Well, that's gonna be 15. If I turn around and make it seven plus eight, doesn't matter, it's still gonna be 15. I have $15 at the end of the day if those are dollars that I'm representing. Then when you think about it, if I get to multiplication, multiplication is the exact same way. If I have four groups of six things in each group, so I'm gonna have 20, 24 at the end is four times six is going to be 24. And if I take six times four, I'm going to have 24. So it doesn't matter the order when it comes to multiplication and addition, when it comes to community property, something to remember.